Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm in a huge hurry today, so this is going to be a compressed version of the videos I normally make. But, I'm going to Wyoming, and we are chasing some prairie dogs. This video is about my loadout, what I am taking with me. And yeah, I just slept three new Scopies. Well, they're not new, but they're new to these Bing Bangs on these Bulat Slingers. So that's the point of this video, to show you what I'm taking on my prairie dog hunt in Wyoming. And the setups, and the Bulats, and everything going on with that. But, that being said, I just put all these new optics on here, and I'm flying out tomorrow. So, I've got to get them sighted in. That's what this video is, and I'm going to do it real quick and condense it. But, just like I always tell you, I bring you guys along with everything I'm doing at the range. And that's what I'm doing today. So, prairie dogs. If you don't know what they are, I'm going to pop up a little picture right here. They cause all kind of harm, tear up the ground, make a bunch of holes. The cows are tripping and fall and break their legs and horses and then those are no good. So, they're varmints. You know what I'm saying? And out west of the U.S., they are uh, in large populations in certain areas. Where we're going, they're telling me that there's going to be so many uh, that we're going to just hunt them until we're tired of hunting them. But, that being said, varmints, you typically think light, fast rounds. That's what I got here today. Check it out. I'm going to sight them in. Let me show you what we're working with real quick, then we're going to get to slinging them and sighting them in. Alright, so, I'm taking three with me. Y'all that watch the show might recognize these. You might not. Some of them I've had out recently. Some of them I had, had, hadn't had out in a long time. But, this one right here, hey, this is my baby. This is my CVA Cascade in 22250. I got a bunch of videos on this thing, taking it to a thousand yards. We've got two whitetail hunts with it, a bunch of bow light tests with it. If you love 22250, definitely go check out the channel, CVA Cascade 22250. I just put on one of my old faithful rigs here. This is a Nikon Black FX1000 with 24 zoomies. It's a 6 to 24. They don't make them anymore. That thing used to be on my 338 Lapua. Definitely a pretty good long range optic. This guy right here, I just got this in. Fresh off the boat. Fresh out of the box. This is the Rideon 5 Tactics 1 to 10 by 24. It is very cool. I just did a video on that uh, here recently, but you want to see the box Here's the box. I still got it. It's got a really cool reticle in it. It's first focal plane and that'll be perfect on What I have it on this is my CMMG Resolute in 223 and yeah, it should be good for Catching some prairie dogs. I forgot to tell you about the shishers on my 22 250 right now I have a banished 30 that's from silencer central and on the CMMG 223, I have the Banish 223. I could also run that on that, but just for the sake of getting them sighted in and having everything be simple, I've got the 30 on the 22 250. Lastly, but not least, woo baby, I don't get this one out as often as I'd like, but this is, believe it or not, my Ruger American in 204 Ruger. I put a Oryx chassis on it. It's pretty slick, real easy to put that on and swap it from the factory stock. It also has a threaded barrel. Right now I've got a brake on it, but I'm probably gonna put one of those cans on it when we go to slide it in. Now, for varmints, we're doing a lot of talking here, but I gotta show you what I'm working with. For varmints, these three cartridges are awesome. 204 Ruger, 223 Remington, and the 22250, they are all zippy, zippy, zippy. I didn't tell you about this scope. I'm trying to hurry up. This thing, woo! This is probably the cream of the crop out of these three. This is a Black Hound Emerge. Black Hound's Emerge line. Very, very nice, high quality optic with lots of goodies. I'm probably gonna do an in-depth video on this, but it's a 2 to 12 by 44. Just got that thing, so I got the box sitting here. If you want to freeze this and read more about this, Black Hound Emerge 
2 to 12, lots of goodies, and it's awesome. has a really cool reticle. It's going to help us stretch out and smack those prairie dogs. Like I said, I just slapped these three optics on these things this morning. By the way, we can get you discounts with Ride On and Blackhound if you need some scopes. You know where to find that info. All right, now we got the bing bangs and the optics and the shushers. What are we going to feed them? So, 22 to 50. You guys know I'm a big Remington Ammunition fan. For 22250, we've got the Premier AccuTip V. That is going to be awesome for Prairie Dogs. For the 223, we have the Remington Premier AccuTip V 50 grainer. So we got the 50 grainer in that one and in the 223 Remington. And then for the 204 Ruger, I'm sighting it in with these 32 grain Fiokis. I ordered the AccuTip V Remingtons for this trip. We'll see if they come in yet, but I don't have them yet, so I'm sighting them in with this stuff. So, let's look at the speeds. 4,100 feet per second. Oh my goodness. Does the box say how fast these are going? It doesn't say how fast these are going, but they're on up there too. Probably we'll have to grab the chronograph so I can do a drop chart. And then these are going 3,800 feet per second. I know that's a fact because I filmed that in another video. So, way too much talking, but I got to document everything I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, get them close here at 10. I'm going to bore side them, take them back to 100, side them in, and we'll be ready to chase some prairie dogs. Like I said, I'm going to try to make this the condensed version. All right, real quick, let me show you how I sight stuff in. So... All of this stuff, I'm going to bore sight it at 10 yards. Let me show you how I do it. So, I've got a paper plate for each one. 204 Ruger, 223, 22, 250. Here's how I do it. So you take your paper plate and you draw a mark that's on the axis of your optic and then a mark that's on the axis of your barrel. I did that with all... Uh, three of these then at 10 yards I've got a I'm gonna staple these plates right there where you see that plate at 10 yards I'm gonna aim at the top dot and I want the hit to be really close to the bottom dot and that's gonna align your barrel with your optic and you go back to 100 yards once this is dialed in then you're gonna be on paper and you just have to make just some small adjustments back at 100 yards. But I'm gonna do this real quick. All right, so what I just did is I put this laser bore cider on the end of the barrel and got the scope adjusted to where I want it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send one of these 22250 acutip Ds. Make sure we're putting the right blue lights and the right bing bangs here. That's kind of important. And we ought to be pretty close to where we want it. We send one here and I'll, I'll show you the paper. Hey, money. You might think I've done this before or something. So let me show you the plate now. Again, this is at 10 yards. I aimed at the top hole and look where I hit. Almost exactly on that bottom hole. That's money, dude. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the 223 and the 204 Ruger. Be right back. All right, so I did the same with the 204 and the 223. Here's how we did. Got real close to that one. 223 got pretty close and I made just a couple more adjustments. We'll see where it is at 100. And the 204, you see how that hit was close to where I wanted it to be for all three of those. Now, let's go back to 100 yards and get them dialed in perfect at 100. Doing it this way at 10 yards should get us pretty close to being on at 100. All right, now, back at 100 yards for the 223, I'm going first. So, not too bad, we're about two inches low. Then another one. Well, that's not grouping that great. Then a few more. All right, so the steel stuff isn't grouping that good. Based on that though, I'm gonna come down just a smidge. Now we're gonna put that good stuff, that Remington Premier AccuTip V in there. Go ahead and 
sin three. Let's bring it left to inch and a half, eh? Oh yeah, it's putting them in there now. So now, we are sighted with that Remington 50 grain Accutent V with the 223. All right, now we got the 204 Ruger. And we're gonna see what we think about this one. Ooh, spider. I don't like the spiders now. Looks like we're low four or five inches and right four or five inches, but. Send another one. By the way, I put the banished backcountry cane on there. Yep, just like I thought. This thing is pretty sweet. Let me make a quick adjustment here. I just put two in the same hole, so I'm just going to make one click to the left and then call this one done. Uh, let's send, send one more, just just for just for good measure. Yeah, we'll come back right one click. I actually went two. I should have brought some junk 22250 to get it close. I brought out the Primo Remington stuff here, but that's what we're going to be slapping those prairie dogs with. So this one, I've got a uh, that Nikon Black 1000 with 24 zoomies. And just a smidge left. And she's in there. We're done, guys. I got some weather moving in. It's about to come a raining. So I gotta end this video pretty quick. Let me know in the comments down below. Which one is your favorite? 223 Remington, 204 Ruger, or 22250? That's hard. If you press me to pick one, I still would pick that 22250, but that 204 Ruger is a very close second. Hey guys, stay tuned. We're going to be smacking some prairie dogs with all three of those. So stay tuned for those videos coming up quick. Make sure you guys go check out hootiehoo.com. Make sure you're on the newsletter. It's at the bottom of the page. Check out everything we got on there. We even got these super cool True Timber Camo Hootie Hoo hats on there. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed. Really appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for the Prairie Dog Kitchen videos. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!